Hello again, and welcome back for day 22, a day on which, despite the t-shirt, we will not be taking a look at a Transformers figure, but instead at that Star Wars figure that I hinted at way back when. That's right, it came in. SH Figure Arts, The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren. who, quite honestly, is pretty awesome having seen the latest movie now. I was not a huge fan of him after The Force Awakens. The best material for Kylo Ren was, quite honestly, in the Saturday Night Live sketch that they did for The Force Awakens. But The Last Jedi really redeemed his character. They actually did something with him. They gave him a character arc. They made him a compelling villain. They made him a different villain than just a Darth Vader cosplayer which he is even called out as being in literally his first scene of the film. I have no idea, though, whether or not he has an actual... Uh, his boasts were correct in the SNL skit, though. Does he have an 8-pack? I'm not sure. Anyway, just taking a quick look at what's in the box here, aside from Gwyneth Paltrow's head, we have a Kylo Ren. We have a Kylo Ren mask, which is an alternate head. We have his traditional lightsaber. We have two, unex two extinguished lightsabers here. And we have four sets of hands, all with different poses. And looking at the extinguished lightsabers, they both look the same to me. Maybe one... Oh, no, there's the difference. One of these has a pegs that you can put on his belt, and the other one is just to hold in his hand so that they didn't have to make like a removable blade or something. But that's what I love about stuff like figure arts. They put a lot of attention into detail for things like these. And speaking of detail, let's take a look at Matt. So, taking a look at Kylo Ren here, up close and personal, the big thing that we need to focus on here is the head sculpt. Specifically, how good that head sculpt is. Like, look at this thing. This is a very good likeness of Adam Driver. They've got the scar right there. It's even got like a little bit of a mustache there, just you know, from shaving that sort of thing, because of hair growth. But they've gotten really good on the figure arts faces for real people in the last couple of years. I think there's some degree of uh, like printing they do straight onto the face of the likeness on top of the sculpting. And yeah, on Kylo Ren, it looks really, really good. Look at this thing. It is gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. As for the actual toy itself, it has pretty standard figure arts posability. Some good shoulders here. There's an extra ball just for the uh, sleeve, which is nice. He's got some good elbow range with double jointed elbows that don't quite go 90 degrees. He's got the swappable hands, of course, like standard figure arts. Skirt is soft plastic so you can do the splits still and he works fine but and he's got some really good uh, leg articulation one nice touch is that the hip cut here for his upper hip oh wait he doesn't have one okay um, but yeah he has some good hip range of motion here some good knees toes ankles the whole shebang and of course some decent neck articulation As for the alternate head sculpt, it is a very good likeness of his movie helmet here. As you can see, the detail is very good, and it looks like that you actually attach this not by doing the head, not by popping off the head off the neck, but rather you pop the entire head and neck off, so that way you can stick on the entire assembly here. Now, the only negative to this figure, I suppose, is that he doesn't have a cape. Like, he didn't have a cape in the movie, so that's not a big deal. But I suppose, really, you could always just pilfer accessories off of uh, the first figure arts. Or, what I'm actually considering is maybe just taking the accessories off of the uh, Star Wars Black Series figure, because that had an actual cloth cape, which looked really nice. Taking a look at everyone's favorite moody First Order leader with uh, all his alternate hands and his lightsaber in tow. Quite honestly, I am not super impressed by how they did the hands here. 
specifically I'm not that impressed because once I got the old hands out especially in the lightsaber hand here it pops out just like that it doesn't stay on the ball joint that well like you can get it on okay but it must have to pop on a bit more or something like that because this thing doesn't seem to pop in and out that easily now I've got more luck with this open palmed hand here in terms of how it's posing so maybe it's just the actual hand but yeah that is definitely something to keep in mind and of course he's got a little peg here so that you can also uh, peg the lightsaber on to his belt and I'm going to do so just to show that off so you can see that Kylo has his lightsaber right there anyway that is a look at the SH figure arts of Ben Solo it is quite the nice figure I've got to say like he came out very well it's a really good likeness he's got the scar and everything and a lot of the facial detail you would expect from a Kylo Ren and I am looking forward to displaying him on my shelf especially now that I've seen the actual movie and can say that I really enjoyed his character in The Last Jedi so with that said this is Techno, signing off, until the next day.